how to connect to Amazon Selling Partner API, how to get PII access, what is Amazon App Store, what is private public developer profile, how to create OAuth connection to the Amazon SP API for my SaaS, how to schedule the report, send the feed to reprice my items, or set up the notifications API. Well, I also been there. As we all know, Amazon Selling Partner API, it's hard, but it doesn't have to be. Hi, I'm Jacob from Delta Logic, and I've been working with the Amazon SP API, the old MWS, Amazon Advertisement API, for over four years. Here at Delta Logic, we've developed over 150 different projects for Amazon sellers, vendors, agencies, aggregators, and other companies. If you're a technical seller or developer, I have a great news for you. We've just released our first Amazon SP API course. If you're thinking to integrate to the SP API or build your own tool, you're in the right place. In this short video, I just want to do a quick overview of what you can find inside the course. The first module is all about introduction into Amazon API. So you learn about the Amazon Advertisement API, SP API, the old MWS, what is the Amazon App Store, understand the Amazon vocabulary such as FBA, FBM, what is the private developer, what is public developer. Also, I'll teach you how to get the access to the PII. In the next module, we'll dive deeper into the Amazon SP API. We'll do our first call. I'll show you the Postman collection that you can use for almost any API endpoint and I'll show you how to use the Python snippets with the code examples that I've prepared for you. In the next module, we'll explore the most popular Amazon SP API categories. You will learn Catalog Items API, Orders API, Reports API, Feeds API and Notifications API. By going through all of those modules and covering all of the code examples, you'll be able to create your own integrations and better understand how the Amazon Selling Partner API works. In addition, in Module 4, we'll cover advanced SP API techniques. Here, I'll teach you what are the rate limits, paginations and throttling in the Amazon SP API, how to handle different kind of errors in the SP API, and what are the best security practices. Those are all based on our own experience that we've developed over the last four years. And the last thing, which is I think really exciting, is how to create end-to-end -end web app with the OAuth workflow so you can actually copy it, so you can create your own SaaS for Amazon sellers. They will be able to click login with Amazon and connect your seller account to your app. On top of that, we are providing you with the free 30 minutes consulting with our CTO, Jakub Riegel. You can ask him anything about the SP API, advertisement API, and software development in general. You may ask, is this course for you? Well, if you are a seller looking to automate your Amazon store, get the data to your Google Sheet, get the data to your database, or push the data back to Amazon, change your listings, reprice your items, then you're in the right place. When we started, there was not much of the information about the Amazon APIs out there. And we've created a course that we've been looking for that no one did before. If you go through this course, I guarantee that you will save tens of hours scrolling through the Amazon documentation and learning in a hard way. If you are ready to take your technical skills to the next level, learn how to connect and use Amazon Selling Partner API, this course is just for you. Check the link on our website, courses.deltalogic.com. I will also put the link in the descriptions. Thanks a lot and I'll see you inside the course.